How does cybersecurity work? In this video, we're going to explain what cybersecurity is and how it works. We're also going to give you a few tips on how you can keep your online security safe. So whether you're just starting out or you're looking for an extra layer of protection, this video is for you. Cybersecurity can be described as the collective methods, technologies, and processes to help protect the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of computer systems, networks, and data against cyber attacks or unauthorized access. The main purpose of cybersecurity is to protect all organizational assets from both external and internal threats as well as disruptions caused due to natural disasters. What are some of the cybersecurity subdomains? Application security. Application security involves implementing various defenses within all software and services used within an organization against a wide range of threats. It requires designing secure application architectures, writing secure code, implementing strong data input validation, threat modeling, etc. to minimize the likelihood of any unauthorized access or modification of application resources. Identity Management and Data Security Identity management includes frameworks, processes, and activities that enable authentication and authorization of legitimate individuals to information systems within an organization. Data security involves implementing strong information storage mechanisms that ensure the security of data at rest and in transit. Network Security Network security involves implementing both hardware and software mechanisms to protect the network and infrastructure from unauthorized access, disruptions, and misuse. Effective network security helps protect organizational assets against multiple external and internal threats. Mobile security. Mobile security refers to protecting both organizational and personal information stored on mobile devices like cell phones, laptops, tablets, etc. from various threats such as unauthorized access, device loss or theft, malware, etc. Cloud security. Cloud security relates to designing secure cloud architectures and applications for organizations using various cloud service providers such as AWS, Google, Azure, Rackspace, etc. Effective architecture and environment configuration ensure protection against various threats. The importance and challenges of cybersecurity. Given the rapidly evolving technological landscape and the fact that adoption of software is ever increasing across various sectors including finance, government, military, retail, hospitals, education, energy to name a few, more and more information is becoming digital and accessible through wireless and wired digital communication networks and across the omnipresent internet. All this highly sensitive information is of a great value to criminals and evildoers which is why it is important to protect it using a strong cybersecurity measures and processes. The importance of good cybersecurity strategies is evident in the recent high-profile security breaches of organizations such as Equifax, Yahoo, and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission Assisi, who lost extremely sensitive user information that caused irreparable damage to both their finances and reputation. And as the trend suggests, the rate of cyber attacks shows no sign of slowing down. Companies, both large and small, are targeted every day by attackers to obtain sensitive information or cause disruption of services. The same evolving technological landscape also poses challenges in implementing effective cybersecurity strategies. Software constantly changes when it's updated and modified which introduces new issues and vulnerabilities and opens it up for various cyber attacks. Furthermore, IT infrastructure evolves as well with many companies already migrating their on-premise systems to the cloud which introduces a whole new set of design and implementation issues resulting in a new category of vulnerabilities. Companies are unaware of the various risks within their IT infrastructure and hence fail to have any cybersecurity countermeasures in place until it's far too late. What's the difference between a cyber attack and a security breach? A cyber attack is not exactly the same as a security breach. A cyber attack as discussed above is an attempt to compromise the security of a system. Attackers try to exploit the confidentiality, integrity or availability of a software or network by using various kinds of cyber attacks as outlined in the above section. Security breach on the other hand is a successful event or incident in which a cyber attack results in a compromise of sensitive information, unauthorized access to IT systems or disruption of services. Attackers consistently try a multitude of cyber attacks against their targets with a determination that one of them would result in a security breach. 
Hence, security breaches also highlight another significant part of a complete cybersecurity strategy, which is Business Continuity and Incidents Response BCIR. BCIR helps an organization with dealing in cases of a successful cyber attacks. Business continuity relates to keeping critical business system online when struck with a security incident whereas incidents response deals with responding to a security breach and to limit its impact as well as facilitating recovery of IT and business systems. 5 Top Cybersecurity Best Practices to Prevent a Breach 1. Conduct Cybersecurity Training and Awareness a strong cybersecurity strategy would not be successful if the employees are not educated on topics of cybersecurity, company policies, and incidents reporting. Even the best technical defenses may fall apart when employees make unintentional or intentional malicious actions resulting in a costly security breach. Educating employees and raising awareness of company policies and security best practices through seminars, classes, online courses is the best way to reduce negligence and the potential of a security violation. 2. Perform risk assessments. Organizations should perform a formal risk assessment to identify all valuable assets and prioritize them based on the impact caused by an asset when it's compromised. This will help organizations decide how to best spend their resources on securing each valuable asset. 3. Ensure vulnerability management and software patch management slash updates. It is crucial for organizational IT teams to perform identification, classification, remediation, and mitigation of vulnerabilities within all software and networks that it uses to reduce threats against their IT systems. Furthermore, security researchers and attackers identify new vulnerabilities within various software every now and then which are reported back to the software vendors or released to the public. These vulnerabilities are often exploited by malware and cyber attackers. Software vendors periodically release updates which patch and mitigate these vulnerabilities. Therefore, keeping IT systems up to date helps protect organizational assets. 4. Use the principle of least privilege. The principle of least privilege dictates that both software and personnel should be allotted the least amount of permissions necessary to perform their duties. This helps limits the damage of a successful security breach as user accounts slash software having lower permissions would not be able to impact valuable assets that require a higher level set of permissions. Also, two-factor authentication should be used for all high-level user accounts that have unrestricted permissions. 5. Enforce secure password storage and policies. Organizations should enforce the use of strong passwords that adhere to industry-recommended standards for all employees. They should also be forced to be periodically changed to help protect from compromised passwords. Furthermore, password storage should follow industry best practices of using salts and strong hashing algorithms. I hope you guys surely like and enjoy our video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.